Hello, welcome back to the latest update on Terra Luna Classic. And I know everyone has been talking about it. I uh, and today we are diving deep into Terra Luna Classic. We lead drop that zero. We are having the much needed pullback right now, but will Terra Luna Classic drop the next zero? I mean, we are already celebrated dropping one zero, but I mean, what's next? Where are uh, we headed? So stick around because we are about to break it down. First off, you know, a quick uh, shout out to the Terra Luna Classic community. You guys are everywhere. I mean, it fa it's fantastic to see the enthusiasm. So if you haven't uh, checked check the creators talking about Terra Luna Classic on YouTube, go ahead, explore and gather more insights. Now let's talk strategy, right? We've seen Terra Luna Classic go through some significant moves recently. And I, I've got about uh, 30 million staked about also 30 million getting on on delegated now we have 227 million in staking reward so it adds up to a, a whopping 55 million terra luna classic coins right now uh so uh don't worry about the much uh, the current valuation you no know, terra station is having a bit of trouble keeping up with the math but let's get to the real question will when will Terra Luna Classic drop the next zero? Will it eat that zero? Um, I'll share my thoughts on that. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell for more videos like this. And uh, yeah, so now let's break things down. The current state of Terra Luna Classic, we are trading at 0 0.003021. We are having a much needed pullback. Technically, we are, we've pulled back now about 35% from 0 0.3033 all the way to 0 0.3021. So, I mean, it's, I think it's overdue for, the, for DCA, those who want to DCA. But uh, right now, percentage-wise, it's down about 21%. And the volume has uh, really taken a dip too by about 46% over the day. But it's still holding strong with this uh, $1.2 billion market cap. Sure, uh, retracements aren't always the most exciting thing, but they are crucial for building strength in the long run. That's how I see it. I don't know how you see it, but uh, it's very important for these pullbacks to happen. So um, in the last seven days, Taraduna Classic has been on this 88% uh, upward trend. And I think this is the kind of movements that we like to see, even when some double tops and retracements along the way. Healthy corrections are really vital for sustained growth, especially in the crypto uh, universe. So looking at the bigger picture, right, Taraduna Classic has really climbed by an impressive 234% over uh, the last month. And now... Uh, Let's just talk numbers quickly. You know, a million Terra Luna Classic coins currently cost about, I'll say, $225. Uh, so if you are having, say, 50 to 55 million coins, well, it's really a substantial investment. You can think about that. Uh, now, on to the big question where will Terra Luna Classic drop that next zero? Yes, my take, despite some recent excitement. I believe this week might be um, a bit of a consolidation period and we've seen some retracements already and that's really healthy. This is two days now in a row. So it's like a breather before the next big move. Now, don't uh, don't take this as gospel. You know, the crypto market is full of surprises. That's what you should know about it. But looking ahead, I'm really cautiously optimistic. And by the end of the month, I expect Terra Luna Classic to, to say at least be competing for its previous all-time high after the crash. So moving into the new year, things could really get uh, interesting and we might just witness that next zero drop. So my prediction for 2024 could be the year to see Terra Luna Classic making some very serious moves. Let's take a look at the uh, crypto bubble. This is a daily chart. We are still having lots of greens in the crypto market. I think uh, each uh, crypto is taking, they are all taking turns, right? 
today is BTT, it was Luna. So all of them are taking turns to pump. So which is very important. When you see the most of these other ones, Luna, Iota, all the they are just having pullbacks. It doesn't give her if you take a look at the bigger picture, they are still up hundreds. 100 200 percent for the past month so you should know that just take a week you can tell things are now looking well the other ones that were pumping they are there and the month you will see they'll come in front right now ftt2 has been doing great so um you should remember that investing is uh it's a journey and not a race so don't forget to take profits when it makes sense for you I'm not here for the diamond hands or paper hands debate. It's all about strategic moves. So like for this chart, right? Those of you who already bought, you know, if you like intuition or just taking a look at the chart without any technical analysis, it's not okay. We have this level here. We need to watch out right here where we have, we form this lower week right there at uh, 0 0.30193. He said, oh, if we bounce there, then, uh, or if we get there, then I'll jump in. So if you jump in there, already the retracement back up, that's already 9%. You see how this game is played? Just following these levels, support resistance, where some other previous week have been before. Sometimes they just, uh, you know, there are many bots trading and these levels, they automatically been bought and sold by these bots and uh, almost all of them they're following the technicals and stuff like that so they follow these levels that's why they fit fibonacci retracement uh levels they are so on point because most of those bots they follow these if we retrace and we hit that uh, 0 0.618 they buy and things like that so uh, i'll urge you to really pay attention to that even without that second day in a row retracement uh it really tells you that uh, it's an opportunity to load your bags and if loading the bags from here i think we are going even we if we were to go back to test the red line at 0 0.3024 that's 25 percent i mean swing trading whatever i want to call it yeah consolidation is good i like it when it's consolidating especially when the range is between 10 to 20 25 percent make a lot of money during those times and if without leverage well that's because if you have about a thousand dollars invested in one of these swings and it goes up 25 percent that's 250 dollars profit you stick to your guns you'll be making things like this and uh in four trades you've already doubled your money so you start now maybe you withdraw your initial investment and you start uh investing with your profits so that that's how i see it so um that's it for today for Terraluna classic if you enjoyed this video smash that like button subscribe and hit the notification bell will Terraluna classic eat that one zero let me know your thoughts in the comment section as always uh, i appreciate your support and i'll catch you in the next one cheers